How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today is a windy day, but I wanted to take the opportunity to talk to you guys and catch up and also answer the questions. So one of the biggest questions that I've been getting is what is the sale process like at Lookup Aviation uh, with if you wanted to get into a Sling TSI or a Sling High Wing? Uh, because they, these are planes that you generally have to build because they're not ready built airplanes you have to buy a kit and then have it built so generally speaking if you are looking to get into a four-seater airplane like this tsi that i'm sitting in when you give us a call we generally ask for your information because one we want to get to know your status as a pilot are you a new pilot are you a low-time pilot um what do you currently fly you know things like that just to help us get to know you a little bit better and perhaps maybe a sling tsi may not even be the best option for you i really want anyone who is coming through our doors to know to be educated on on the process and be educated about what they're about to spend their money on now the the great thing about a sling tsi it's, it really is a beginner airplane because of all the modern amenities in this airplane so it's a great beginner airplane it's very easy to fly but again, you know, depending on your budget or depending on your skill level, or perhaps if you haven't even gotten your license yet, all those things will matter. So generally speaking, let's assume that, you know, we've gone through the questionnaire with you and you're ready to pull the trigger. Fully built, a Sling TSI will cost you north of 300,000. But here's the truth. This is an experimental plane. I mentioned that. And to get just the components to build this plane, and that's the kit, engine, prop, all of that stuff together will cost you about $120,000, $120,000. And if you wanted to buy all those things and go build your plane yourself, then you can go do that. But if you go through a, a build assist process where one, the plane gets done much quicker, and which is what we offer at Lookup Aviation, then you, you get priced on a finished airplane. But the truth of the matter is, if we're just saying, okay, how much does this, does this airplane cost? It's $120,000, but then it has to be built, right? And then depending on materials you want in the plane, if you want leather stitching like you know what you see here, if you want leather wrapping all around, nice uh, avionics panel, uh, a lot of things can go into your airplane. Uh, if you want a parachute, that's another additional cost. Uh, but if you wanted to build just a basic airplane and you build it yourself, you can probably save some money that way. But generally speaking, your cost then uh, goes up or down depending on what you want to put in the airplane. That's the basic gist of it. So once again, we've gone through the questionnaire with you and you're ready to pull the trigger. What then happens is that you pay a deposit. So for example, if you call Mike, and you're like, hey, I want to get the TSI. How much is it? We've gone through everything. And I say, oh, it's going to cost you $300,000 or $350,000. And then you go, okay, uh, do I need to pay $350,000? The answer is no. We don't want to hold on to your money anyway. So it's the, the payment structure is basically four to five layers. And so you pay a 20% down payment, which we use to go get your kit. And because there's also a wait time for the kits, Guys, it's it's a little frustrating, but it's really across the board with the pandemic and South Africa, for example, being shut down in and out. Um, anywhere you go right now in aviation, things are delayed uh, due to you know inventory and pandemic. So, for example, the the Sling TSI kits, there's about seven months lead time from the time we place the order for the kit and from the time we get it. So keep that in mind. But then once your kit gets here, then you make another payment, which is when we then start working on building your airplane. And so when we get to the point where the airframe is done, and also you understand that as a build assist, you also have to have do your 51%, which again, it's part of the program and we've arranged when you would come down and you'd only come down for about a week or two weeks and get hands on. Uh, and since it's a, a point system, we already know the parts of the airplane that you're going to be working on. Um, but it should be, you know, depending on your personal personality and if you like tinkling with stuff like this, it really should be fun. I had fun building or being a part of my airplane build, uh, but it is, it is, 
work and it is part of the process and of course i think the best part being that i've been through this process before is that you get to learn a lot about the airplane itself so when it becomes this finished flying machine you know more about your airplane than say the average person who goes to buy a finished airplane so that's that's one of the cost benefit in my opinion so once you come in um and when we get to the point where your airframe is completely built by that i mean the the fuselage which is this cabin that i'm sitting in we've got your tail uh your empennage um the wings uh what else this fuselage wings empennage horizontal vertical stabilize all that good stuff and then when we get to the point where we're mounting the engine and at this point from the second deposit that payment that you've made then would also order your engine which is a road tax 915 and so once that comes in and we get to the point of mounting the engine then you would make another payment so it's 20 percent 30 percent 30 percent and then on the delivery so after your engine is mounted you know things get checked out and then your your airplane is going to go through the registration process at some point it'll go through the flight test first and once flight test is complete generally what happens with flight testing is the airplane will will be flown and then 99 percent of the time there's always things here and there that needs to be corrected uh, or whatever have you and once those things would come down we check those things make sure they're fixed go for a test flight again and i'm not talking test flight usually is hours so it's not like a one time and done deal it's a, there's a process so once your test flight is complete and the airplane is deemed airworthy then we'll get you your registration certificate for the airplane and upon delivery of the airplane whether you pick it up or you have it delivered to you then you would make the final payment for the airplane and that's really a nutshell of all of it now again that number can add up to x amount of dollars or x amount of dollars it, it really depends on how much stuff you put in your airplane and this plane is so great because it it's a light plane this gross weight of the sling tsi is about 2100 pounds not even 2195 uh, 2095 so it's about 2095 pounds and your useful load, you have a little bit over a thousand pounds. But because it's such a fuel efficient airplane, the standard tanks now for this airplane is 52 gallons. That's a lot. That's like range for, for hours. In my plane, I've got the, the, the previous model, so to speak. So I have about 45 gallons of fuel. And even that takes me long. As a matter of fact, I just came back down, just doing some practice work in the airplane and I've barely burned four gallons of fuel per hour. So the last time I filled up this plane was two days ago. And in that time, I've gone up four times and I still have about 25, 30 gallons of fuel left. So that's to show you, you know, how much, so with 52 gallons of fuel, this is a plane that you can go for hours. And I personally burn about 7.2, 7.5 gallons of fuel per hour. And you, you traveling at a respectable 150 160 in some cases 200 knots if you have a nice tailwind in this airplane but that's how much it would cost and that's that's how the process will go because i've gotten this questions quite a bit and so i just wanted to make a video about it and just let you guys know how the process goes even before you give us a call you know this is going to be the payment structure and it's it's basically like we're, we're in it together so you're you're not making uh, an upfront payment of the total amount except of course you want to but generally speaking you make a deposit and then each phase of the aircraft being built um, then you make more payments now while your airplane is also being built there there's still background work that needs to happen uh, as a builder and buyer we want to prepare you for what to expect as far as taxes are concerned also insurance we want to help set all of those things up uh, prior to the airplane being finished. So that way, once your airplane is done, you just have a big smile on your face and fly home or maybe fly once it gets to you. So that's everything in a nutshell. Please, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. And guys, I wanna thank you all so much for your support on Mojo Grip. Uh, also make sure you follow Mojo Grip on Facebook. 
and also check us out look up aviation please do leave your comments because I, I i imagine there will be some questions and i'm gonna read the comment line so anyway thank you so much for watching again my name is mike and i will catch you all on the next video peace